What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're going to be checking out the third and final ability out of Ruxus Bazaar for this week. I am so excited, it is the Bedazzled Bolt Blaster for the Engineer. Vanquish plants with style with this new shiny Bolt Blaster. It comes fully stocked with diamonds and dazzle, that's right, real dazzle. Never worry about your lack of luster while pelting plants ever again. Awesome, awesome stuff, so we get ourselves a really cool Engineer item. I, if you guys ask me like what is the next, you know, bedazzled or, you know, bling item. I wouldn't have said an engineer one. Technically, it was two new bling items, but I would never have guessed an engineer one. So that's actually a pretty cool one. Soon enough, we'll be trying to save up money to buy these two as well. Hopefully, I can do it within the next 17-ish hours. We'll have to find out, but for right now, we're gonna go ahead and, of course, try out this engineer thing and, you know, see how it works. Now, I don't think it'll be any different. You guys can let me know if you know of any difference, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be exactly the same. We'll go ahead and check it out here. It should be right here. And, you know, this Bolt Blaster, you know, normally is one of my favorite items for the Engineer because it just can get you so many vanquishes. Oh, ho, 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 it looks so good. All right, then we're gonna go ahead into a game and see it in action. Okay, so I've been playing most of this round as plants just because I've been desperately just waiting around for it's allowed me to play zombie, so I figure I'll try to play one of my more underleveled engineers that I don't enjoy playing as much. I don't know who that would be. Um, I guess something like the Electrist, and I usually don't play too much. And why I want to do that is because I'm not really focusing on the character's primary weapon at all. I'm focused on this, so I can actually play something like this and not enjoy the primary weapon too much and still be able to do A-OK. -okay. And that's usually my strategy with almost every engineer. I'm sure you heard about it a lot if you watched all my engineer character showcases, is that a lot of the times I just rely on the abilities to get some experience. We got a double kill right off the bat, though, so maybe I'm all wrong. Maybe I am entirely long, but I'm trying to, not entirely long, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get you. Yeah, I got you. So let's set up on the point just like this, and if anybody comes in our way, we'll try to destroy them. And immediately, I mean, we are hitting a chomper, so I don't know if it's a good comparison. We are rolling out some damage. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, I really don't know what the damage comparison is. Maybe we'll pull it out in the backyard at the end of the episode if I feel the need to, and we can compare it, but this is awesome so far, I really, really like it. I'm glad I was able to find the time and the cash to get all of the abilities before the weekend is over. I'm gonna be trying really, really hard to also make sure I have the coins, I got like a million to go, to get the, uh, what's it called? Oh, I got you a little bit, well, my controller's freaking out. But, uh, to get the uh, two legendary hats as well, because usually I'll be like, I'm gonna get those legendary hats, and then I run out of time. Every time Rux has legendary hats, because I'm always he. Whenever he has legendary hats, he usually also has other like you know abilities or other important stuff too. It's never just one thing, you know. <laughs> well, sometimes it's one thing, but it's never just a legendary hat. So that's always a tough part. Oh boy. Or right, I think the one time it was just a legendary hat, it was also a legendary piece of the Iron Citron. So I had to get it, you know. Oh boy. So you're gonna set up right there. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna throw this down. That did not slow you down at all. I was hoping maybe just for some lucky timing and then that would end right when I threw that, but that's not how it worked. Okay, I'm gonna get you, gonna get you, gonna get you, and you're down. I really love the Big Bolt Blaster. Honestly, it feels like it has slightly less recoil. Cause that's probably like my biggest criticism of the uh, Big Bolt Blaster is that it has some crazy ridiculous recoil that makes it so hard to control. This does have recoil. You can see I was trying to test it out there, but it feels way more controllable to me. So I like that a lot, and maybe that's you know actually something that goes on here, because honestly, I think that might actually be better than any kind of damage upgrade this thing could receive. If this thing had a recoil upgrade, that'd be amazing, because you know you can have all the damage in the world if you can't land it as well. That doesn't matter, you know? But if we could land it very precisely, that's gonna be game changing. I gotta vanquish this cactus, because I actually have a quest that is vanquish cacti. There we go, it is vanquished! I'm gonna get all set up here. Nobody is taking this point unless I'm a total dingus and don't even see, where Where was the rose at? I guess right there. Well, I didn't shoot, so as long as she doesn't notice me, I should, oh wow, I didn't even press the button. It just immediately threw me back in. Um, Actually, there's not even a meter. Am I technically even in this thing right now? I mean, I could shoot out of it. I'm not in the best position though, so I might hop out in a second, but this poor cactus won't even know what hit her. Ah! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna wait for somebody else, some other poor, so no! It's the rose again! Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, just you wait. Oh, gotcha! <laughs> All right, no, 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 there's another one. Where's this other one at? Oh wait, let's stop you. Gotcha. Time six vanquish streak ain't too bad. Right, the Eddie King is almost free. 
that's that's a good thing though. That's a very good thing. And there's nobody over there. Still nobody. I, I have this place well kept. Ah! You gotta scream as loud as you can when you're using this, or this won't carry the. I feel like this thing is like broken, and I could just use it indefinitely. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna. Okay, no, it wasn't. I just wanted to test it out as this rounds about that. Ah, I thought you were a plant. You are not a plant. Okay, I'm gonna hop on down. Oh no, ran out of time. That's okay. That was a quick little round, at least on camera. But it was fun. <laughs> it shows you how much I enjoy this big bolt blaster in general. But there's something about the bedazzled one. It actually feels like it has less recoil, which I really appreciate. You know, that was a lot of fun, so I think I'll stick with the uh, electrician for now. Of course, if I get a good chunk of levels with him and I wanna upgrade to somebody else, I'll do so, but it's still pretty darn cool. I just really like that we have a bling ability. Now, I've talked about this, you know, in a recent episode, but the one thing I wanted to, you know, mention again, just in case some people didn't see that episode, is that there has been some screenshots being shown by some people that have been buying packs, and in those packs has been a picture of a Zombot drone. Like, it, it's supposed to be a Zombot drone from, like, Garden Warfare 1, but it seems to be a glitch, like it's not actually in the game, but the sticker for it is, as if maybe at some point in time they were working on adding in the Zombot drone and that these files just accidentally crept their way in, which is interesting. It must have been a, you know, a glitch or a, you know, a, a mistake with this patch. And honestly, I really doubt, and I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I wouldn't mind being wrong here in this situation, but I really doubt that we will be seeing the Zombot drone in Garden Warfare 2, and some of you guys brought up some great points, like Pop kept themselves saying they don't really want to add the Zombot drone into Garden Warfare 2, and I think it was a matter of, this was probably in the game files already, and that it was just a mistake that it was popping up like that, and it wasn't supposed to. You know, that happens all the time. Like, I think a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people do make assumptions, because I know there's, like, it's pretty popular nowadays that people dig into the game files and find all this stuff and assume what's going to happen. And some of it comes true and some of it doesn't. And I, I think a lot of people don't understand that sometimes people, you know, like, when they're making the game, they have to put the stuff in the game to test it. And sometimes some of that might actually exist in the files, but that doesn't guarantee confirm it's going to be real. Which is why it's like, some people get their hopes up so much for something that hasn't even been mentioned by official PopCorp sources. So it's just like, make sure to not get too excited because you might be getting excited for something that might not ever exist in the game. You know, it's fun to speculate and it's fun to, you know, you know, think about what we could want and that's always a good thing, but don't try to, you know, expect something's going to happen if there's no, you know, official confirmation. But yeah, it's still pretty cool. I mean, the idea of having a Zombot drone in the game is sort of weird because it would feel very lopsided because we already have the Parrot drone, which we, would mean we would have two drones on the zombie side, but only one drone, the Cacti's uh, Garlic drone on the plant side. So that doesn't make any sense, right? So, oh boy, let's try to get you in. I mean, maybe there would be a cool way they could think of to counteract that, like maybe give one of the other characters a drone which would probably be weird and probably not fit very well. Like, which character, if you had to give a plant character a drone, which one would it be? I'd probably assume the Rose, right? Because, like, the Engineer and the Rose are as similar as the Captain Deadbeard and Cactus are. So if we were to do that kind of symmet symmetricalness, then yeah. But I don't know, though, because Rose's ability is already so good. You know, the, uh, the ethereal mode that I always forget the name of. Oh my gosh, I'm not doing so well, though. But it's always so useful as a character, you know? So it's just like, I don't think I'd want to get rid of that. And, and also the skies would probably feel pretty crowded with that many drones, you know, being able to fly around. So I think that it would be good if it, you know, stays how it is and the Zombot drone does not make a return because then it won't be flip-flopped and like, you know, over overcompensating for the zombie side and not so much for the plants. And also the, the skies will probably be a little too crowded. It's already annoying enough when there's that parrot that just won't leave you alone, you know? I don't think we need that with also a zombot drone, you know? <laughs> I don't want two things pelting me from the sky. Oh boy, I might die here. Oh boy, come on, beat him up, beat him up. Okay, I'm running, I'm running away. You guys can deal with them yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good position to set up this, you know, darn thing, and I'm not really finding it. But maybe here's a good spot. I, it's not letting me. Okay, I'm gonna die in a second. Gosh darn it, come on. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> no, it's okay, you can taunt as much as you want. I am not doing well, but you know what? I said I'm pretty bad at engineers. Probably my two worst classes are engineers and, um, what's it called? Chompers, I'm just not good at them. Here, get this set up here, and you're going down, mister. Okay, my aiming is awful. Oh, for a second I thought there was a chomper behind me, but nope, it was just his toxic brains. They always know where to find me though. How? How did that happen? Like, I didn't even see that person, but okay. 
And I definitely think there's some lag. I'm not uploading a video while playing this time, so I should not have any lag. If there is any lag, it's the server side because my internet is A-OK -okay right now. Oh boy. They are everywhere. They are on top of me. Jeez. <laughs> okay, maybe it's time for a new engineer then. If I'm doing this bad, it's time for some change, you know? If you try and you fail, sometimes you just gotta mix things up. I've been wanting to play more Painter, because the Painter's fun. The Painter's like a sniper, but not exactly a sniper. Still have this weird Christmas ornament on his head, because, you know, I've had this on since the Feast of Us and just haven't ha bothered to play him again since then. Oh boy. But we took, I thought they took this point already. I swear that they did. I'm just going crazy. Well, now they did, so. Don't have to act like I'm crazy. Or think I'm crazy. No, I don't have the blaster on. I messed up, I goofed. But now I guess we can sort of compare. And I mean, I guess the recoil is about the same. Felt like I was doing less damage, but he also had his leafy thing going on there. So, not really sure if that really matters either which way, but abilities. And then this, and then, hold on. I wanna also clear this, cause it looks silly. There you go. Much better, much, much better. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna take me the longest time to master engineers and choppers. Like, I'm not looking forward to that. I talked about it in the Vampweed video. But I'm probably gonna like conceive some kind of plan, right? Where I go ahead and just earn up the quest stars as much as I can and only spend the quest stars from here on out on engineers and choppers. That way I don't have to play them too much to actually level them up just because it's, it would just be so slow for me. Of course, I will save you know the stars for the ones I really, really don't enjoy playing. Ooh, how did how did that land? All right, I went right through you. I'm just gonna assume that's what happened. Not, there's no conceivable way that I could have missed the zebra gamer. No, I'm not bad at video games. <laughs> that's not possible. I'm just trying to get you. I don't feel like I'm in a good spot to set up the turret. I actually don't even know where like 90% of the plants are. I feel like I'm, go I'm going against a team of like three, and there's a full team. They just haven't showed up yet. This is a mistake. I'm pretty sure. Oh boy. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Hey, no, don't do it! They always know how to sneak up on me. No matter where I set up, if I like just set up immediately after spawn, there'll be a bandit kernel corn waiting for me. Like, oh, I gotta watch my tracks. There's gonna be behind this fence or something. I don't know. They're just out for me today. They're trying to find me. They're trying to take me down. I'm a wanted engineer. I think maybe up here would be, like it's, it's hard because you want to set up at a spot where they can't find you too easily, but then you can't find them too easily. It's just this weird balance you gotta try to find. And, it, and it's not very easy to find that balance. Hey, you guys get off that point. And there's so many Torchwoods. I don't know why there's so many Torchwoods today. That guy took a beating. Hey, can you stop it? The sunflowers really don't like me though. That's the billionth time I've died to a sunflower. Well, we're still somehow like fighting for top vanquish on our team. So I don't really get, don't know. Well, what's going on? I feel like I've gone to wacky world where there's nothing that makes sense. Which, you know what? Plants vs. Zombies is pretty darn close. You know, nothing really makes too much sense in PvZ. But that's the fun of it. And that's why I love it. And that's why I still play PvZ games eight years after they've released. You know? Isn't that cool? PvZ is eight years old. You know, we've talked about it all weekend. But now it's Monday. They should be going up on Monday. Ooh, the trade! We got each other. It's even now. But yeah, I mean, it's crazy to think about. I, I don't want to think about it too much because I've been thinking about it a lot, so I don't want to sound like I'm a, you know, a repeating record or anything, or a scratched record, or however that saying goes. Not really sure. But yeah, of course, let me know, guys. Have you gotten this ability? What are your thoughts on it? I know a lot of people are usually pretty 50-50 with blinged abilities or rainbow abilities or all that kind of stuff because they just don't like the idea that it's exactly the same. But it's like, you know, if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it unless you're aiming for 100%. But I think it's like, it's a fun way to fill the sort of the gap between waiting for new abilities while still having some cool new stuff to check out. I mean, to be honest with you, like, I just like anything that we can get. <laughs> that chomper is incredibly excited. Don't think I can be that excited about anything. And I get pretty excited for stuff, so. That chomper's got, you know, excitement down pat. And that's his profession, is just being excited all the time. That sounds like a fun, ex you know, uh, uh, profession. I forgot the word I tried to say two seconds ago. Oh, there we go, I got you landing. Direct damage with the painters. So crazy, 45 each. Like, that's almost as strong as some of the you know best like one-shot damages in the game. Ooh, okay, yeah, I'm not getting anything here. Everybody saw my bling turret and just peaced out. The camera didn't even get the zoom back in before they just destroyed me. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm guessing, of course, this thing is incredibly noticeable. It's just glimmering. It's shining, and it's rather large already. And you see this big dude with this big old butt? 
just sitting on it. You know what the issue is, you know, it's just so hard, easy for them to see me. But you know what, if I'm going out, I'm gonna go out with style, you know, with my blinging. You know, oh, he's going out with style. <laughs> So many people style now this, and you know, that's sort of exactly what I wanted out of this game, in a lot of cases, you know. Every time they added new customizations, new characters, new everything, oh, I always get so excited because it means that every person who plays will look a little bit more different, you know? It'll be pretty rare to see somebody who has the same customizations that you do, and that, that, to, that to me is pretty cool, because as everybody looks so original, they have a character that they think is cool, and that's just really awesome. And I think that that's just one of the coolest parts about this game is that character customization makes everything super duper fun. I'm gonna go around the left. I'm gonna be sneaky this time, the sneaky painter. Oh, hello. Well, there goes that. Somebody's already found me. But luckily, I can deliver the pain to him. <laughs> Get out of here, sir. Not dealing with you today. And maybe I can sit up here. We got ourselves a scientist helping us out. This seems like a nice place to set up if the game will let me. Ooh, can I get you? Nope, you're in your ethereal form, but I can get you guys. Oh, got you a little bit. Get you a little bit. Come on, okay. He sort of got taken out there by somebody else, I think. No, I'm on your team, buddy, don't worry. Oh, no, I can't get you. Come on, one shot, one shot, I got one shot left. She's gone. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna waste it, because I don't want to sit here forever just for that. Hi! I guess he was trying to get my attention. Hello! <laughs> Oh jeez, is there a Colonel Corn attacking us? I hear a Colonel Corn. Oh, there's a mob cop down here. Run! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What is going on over here? Um, I, I, There were definitely plants here before, but I think they took some of them out. Oh, hello! I found you, sir! That, is that alien flower still over here? Nobody got her! Okay. <laughs> She's just been chilling out over here with everybody else. She's like, I'm like one in four at best against like every plant member. I've died so many times. But we're almost done this round, so we're doing okay. We're on the last point though, which is nice and good. I missed my shot, I missed it again. I didn't miss it the third time. Take you, take that, you, you alien flower. Oh no, come on. Oh. Alien flower is one of the last characters I need to master on the sunflower side though. It's crazy that, you know, I've been starting to get more full sets of classes mastered. Like I'm really starting to make progress with that kind of stuff and it's super exciting. I mean, like I said, I have a long time to go. But I can't wait until the day I have, you know, every character mastered out. That'll be a lot of fun. And I mean, I'm gonna assume that at this point there's not gonna be any more characters added to the game. I really don't think so. Um, because of course they've already announced that they um, don't plan on doing any major updates to the game at this point. And I, I would consider a new character to be a major update. So I think that, what is it? Yeah, this person's max rank. 54, 55 is the max rank right now. I can't wait to be there, and it'll be really cool. I think I'll probably, whenever that happens, which is probably months and months down the line, probably somewhere like late summer, I would assume. At my current rate, I'd probably hit it about late summer if I keep playing the amount I do, and I plan on it. You know, as long as you guys keep supporting the videos. But, uh, and you guys definitely have been. Not to say you haven't. You've been doing a fantastic job. I'm proud of you. Oh, we're getting you. We're getting you. We're getting you. No, I can't point down any farther. <laughs> Why? Things are just not going my way. This is probably the dumbest place to set up, but it's where I set up. I'm gonna wait an extra few seconds. But yeah, I'll probably live stream it like when I'm at 5454, I'll live stream myself getting 5455 because that just sounds like really fun and exciting. That would be a fun way to celebrate it is just live streaming with you guys. Like I said, that's probably a couple months down the line. I'm gonna throw this here. Boom. Did that land? Yeah, it did. It just sort of didn't really have an animation. Maybe I was like out of the distance for it. Oh, how did that not get you? Oh, I wanna get you though. There we go, that was good, that was good. Here, hop in my... Thing. Jackhammer, one more. There we go, got you. I'm moving back over here because this guy doesn't. Oh, I can get my revenge. I can. Never mind. I was gonna sneak up on the sneaky corn, but then somebody snuck up on me. I don't know. Nobody snuck up on me. I think I just got taken out by the fire damage, but they finally broke that battery. Oh me, oh my. Who can we stop here then? I want to plop down here if I can. It should be this kernel corn. Let me get him. Let me know if somebody else got him. That's okay, I can just focus on new targets. Oh, I got you there, got you there. That was some good shots. I've gotten some level ups here, which is pretty nice. You know what, if you're in a turret, then I'm in a turret too. Please do not smash me, Zombot. He, he pushed me around a little bit, but you know what? He's a big guy, he can't help it. I don't think he meant it. Oh, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. Yeah, that was good. Get you, get you, get you. Okay, I got you a little bit, got that assist. Ah, ah, Rose, hold on. No, <laughs> Nobody else noticed her. Oh gosh, where is she? I'm just gonna get out of here. No, the Torchwood. The Torchwood's back. All of the plants have been just crazy good at the game tonight. Please be worse. You're okay, you don't have to be bad at the game. You just have to be worse than me. 
That's all I want. That's so much to ask. Let's get a lot of ammo for this guy. 12 shots is quite a lot. Oh boy. Come on. One more. Two more then. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Level six for me. And you know, with that being said, I actually hit the uh, 33 rank plate this morning. And we're already at 33, 14. So like that, that's a decent amount. If I could get like 20 levels a day. Okay, that's not happening. Let's just say I get 10 levels a day. How many would I need? Like, let's say I'm about 2,000 away, more or less. And if I get 10 a day, I would mean I need 200 days. And 200 days is like, a, I would say around September, right? 200 days from now, September. That makes sense. Let's say at September at the latest then. I mean, probably take longer than that. Jeez, I cannot hit you. You deserve that one, because I just did awful. <laughs> you definitely feel like you deserve it too. Okay, so I don't know who's gonna survive here. They might actually be able to take it. Oh, no. Wait, what? They had a minute 22 left, but Zombot still had plenty of health, or at least a little chunk of health. I guess that he must have lost his health. That might have just been a weird health bar glitch, but hey, the plan, <laughs> what was with that cactus? The cactus just got knocked around. Bye-bye, Zombot. I knew you well. And by that, I mean not really at all. Goodbye. No, the mob cab. He's like, don't leave me, Zombot. I secretly loved you. Okay, so there was a nice little look at the bedazzled blaster, the bedazzled bolt blaster. I enjoyed it. It's still, you know, just as enjoyable as a normal bolt blaster, which the bolt blaster is a really great item. So I didn't mind it either which way. We were only on defense, which is usually not the best situation for it, but let me go ahead and just try to, oh, 14 damage, Jack. 14 damage, Jack. So let's go ahead and try to uh, switch over to the normal bolt blaster now. Don't attack me! You stinker butt, I was literally about to press it. Now I gotta sit here and this is gonna sit and invite friends. Okay, no, they've all leave me alone now. I got two seconds. Come on, just two seconds? Gotcha, thank you. All right, so abilities, just like that. Turn it to the normal one now. And let's see if this one really is any different. We'll do 14 damage. We'll try to find the same situation in un, you know, defended. Like, no defenses on them, no pumpkin on them or anything. Just like this and 14. Okay, so it seems to be doing the same amount damage-wise. I don't think there's any sincere differences to it. Maybe you found a difference. You can always let me know in the comment section, and we can check it out for ourselves maybe at some point. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Bedazzled Zebra, so I know you've watched it in the video, and that you are a zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.